Right, chaps. Well, today's discussion is on the GJ Locks 5G non curtain tip. So, if you can see that there, okay, that will grab and act like a two in one. All right, so we've got the left hand mounted and the right hand mounted ones. Now, these are a fucking Bobby Dazzler. So, basically, the principle is you can put them in, tension the bolt or so, and then get your picking wire in. Uh, I fabricated my own picking wire because I like it slightly thicker. Why you say? Because these little mucky bastards have spaces. Well, most of them have spaces in between the levers. And if your picking wire is too thin, what's going to happen is you're going to slip off one and get it jammed up in between the fucking spaces. And um, trust me, it's a pain in the fucking ass to get out. And sometimes you have to end up chopping your fucking wire just to get the bastard out. Right, you say. Let's move on. So I've had to reposition the camera just so you can see what is going on. So we're going to put our tension in there. And then the wire will just sit in nice. And you can see I've cut this wire for this fucking lock. One second, because I'm doing this fucking cockeyed. Let me just get you in first. There we go. Right. And what we're looking for is you watch the bolts. All right. So why are these so good, you say? Because... You can feel everything and the normal two in ones you have to put quite a bit of tension on it feels like you're going to fucking bend everything so without further ado let's get a bit of tension on i want you to keep your eyes on the bolt all right so let's test number one three test number two bound quite heavy let's test three that's three put a bit more tension on one felt like a little movement two Three, bit more tension. One, two, three. Let's keep going back and forth. There. Did you see that fucking bolt jump? So we're not. We're nearly there. So what we're going to do is we're going to tickle each one. Tickle. I don't think that wants to be tickled. <laughs> We're nowhere near there because it bolts up a fucking nice. So sometimes what you can do, if you feel like the bolt shooted like that, just ease off tension just a little bit. But no, sometimes you can ease off the tension, and what will happen is it will go, but not in this case. Again, bolt movement there. Just looking for that extra little bit there. It's being a bitch. There, I can tell number two doesn't want to stay up. There you go. There we fucking go. Yes, that might have took two minutes, but trust me, when you're running out of options, these little mucky bastards can cause you a fucking pain in the ass. And the last thing you want to have to do is drill a three lever lock. So you can see the principle. That is a really nap. Yeah. Get out, you dirty bastard. That is a really old, well-used lock. Sorry, I'm trying to work around the fucking camera while I get my tizzle out. So, whoop, there we go. Really well-made, solid steel, whatever the fuck it is, uh, and they're ideal for uh, picking non-curtain locks. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed my little waffling fucking video. Get yourself one, because you need. And before I move on, actually, and fuck off, I've got a little tube here, and I advise you to do the same if you're starting out. And what I've got is loads of different lengths of spring steel wire. Why, you say? Because sometimes you have to make your own picking wire on the spot to suit the lock, okay? So this one I've actually probably cut. Let me just turn it around. I've probably cut this wire a little too big. In fact, yes, I have. Yeah, probably about two mil too high. But we live and learn. Anyway, chaps, hope you enjoyed that little waffling fucking video. I'm having a brew.